How can you call him racist with no proof? Hello people, welcome back to John Shepherd Fitness and I'm going to be doing the story of the moment. Obviously it's flared up if you watch Greg Duche, if you follow more plates, more dates and it's all to do with Chef Andre Rush. If you haven't seen Andre Rush, I actually have never seen him before I watched the Greg Doucet um, video and he's impressive. He is massive. He has 24 inch arms. I'm going to do a natty or not on. Greg didn't do it because he said there was no point in doing it because it's obvious. And then I'm going to obviously talk about the whole racism. Is Greg Duche racist? What I've seen, there is absolutely no evidence. Is Chef Rush a natty or a complete fake? And the answer to it is, of course he's not. He is a complete and utter fake natty. If you think you can get that size by being natural, you need your head testing. He's got bigger arms than Phil Heath. Obviously he knows what he's on about when it comes to nutrition, cooking, because he cooked for the president. And this is what makes me laugh. As you can see, even Donald Trump said that he's 100% natural. Well, guess what? If you believe what Donald Trump says, then you are a moron. Because apparently COVID was not even a real virus. According to Donald Trump, of course, everything's fake news with him, so he must be right. Um, and yeah, I don't need to go on and go through old pictures of him because there is no way he is natural. I mean, he's even got pictures with Mr. Fake Natty himself, the king of natties, the god of fake natties, the natty monster himself, Mike O'Hearn. So if you're in them circles hanging around with them people, and you're natural, and you look that size, I really want to know what he is doing because he needs to tell us what he is taking or what he is doing to get like that if he admits he is natural. Because if he is natural, which is 100% not true, he needs to just come out and say, hey, I'm not natural, but if you want to get like me, this is what I take, this is what I do, this is my nutrition watch the video on um, men's fitness it's an absolute joke he has about three or four hours sleep he eats like god knows how many calories 8,000 like Greg said and 1,200 grams of protein even the even the newbies of people who are learning nutrition know that you should only eat maximum I would say about 50 grams of protein there's no law about it but your body can only digest so much protein you know to make it work anymore and it's a waste waste of time so for him to eat that much he's just gonna he's just gonna hurt himself he's just gonna absolutely his body inside is just gonna clog up and he's just gonna end up keeling over and yeah he will have an early death if he carries on eating like that and doing these 2,200 push-ups, I've actually heard about that, Greg, because I've never seen it as 2,200 push-ups. It was 22 push-ups in the UK, I think. Um, but he never explained it, so I understand why Greg did say, well, you didn't tell anybody. No one knew what 2,200 push-ups was. But to the main topic and if I actually think Greg Duche is racist. And if you have followed me for a while, you knew I did a video year, a year or so ago about Matt Does Fitness saying, Greg Duche, I called him out because he actually privately messaged me because I did a video and said he was wrong about Matt Does, Matt Does Fitness. If he does watch this, I have to admit, Greg, I was wrong. I actually do now, looking back and learning a bit more about the actual human body that Matt is not natural. He is, 
he no one can stay in that shape being natural unless you're top of your game um so greg you were right about that um so anything that happened in the past it doesn't matter but greg has got a mouth on him but who hasn't you know he's just sticking up for himself and fair enough but for him to call out for, for but for him now i would say he's a big youtuber for him to call somebody the n-word on social media um, is a whole bunch of lies if you saw his video go and check it out we actually commented on chef russia's um instagram and basically called him the n-word blah 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 and he pointed it out it was greg there's no proof it's a fake account silhouette you know and Greg's getting the backlash for this and I think it's wrong because I have always said that if if you are going to accuse somebody of something you should have the proof 100% proof you know this nowadays in this world to pe to call pe somebody that or to be called that is not on because it goes both ways the backlash that Greg could get from this is he could, he could he could get death threats he could he could lose his career you know followers could disappear you know anybody in the black community who does like Greg could just like unsubscribe from him not bother with him and you know his YouTube career could spiral down you know really bad I don't think he, he would I don't think he would because we all know Greg is very, very like upfront. He doesn't care, um, and he's only there to try and help people. He was only trying to say that if you are going to do a video and say you're doing this and that and this, just tell the truth, you know, because it's so out of this world untrue. You'd have to be absolutely stupid to believe that he did all this in a day, eats all this in a day. Does all this workouts, you know, has no sleep, and you can get like him, which it's it's absolutely rubbish, you know. I've actually messaged Andre Rush, and surprisingly, I have had no reply. I messaged the same message on his new video, where he's just a little shorts, where he's doing some workouts, and he's just saying, I gotta do them lighter and lighter and lighter. And I messaged him on private message and I put you should take this racist post down he doesn't it doesn't make you look good as obviously it's a fake account no proof plus Greg plus calling Greg Duche a racist one of his best friends Johnny Shreve you know and you would get so much more respect telling the truth on what you really do to get that physique as you are misleading people you know if i do get a reply obviously i will let you know but you know i'm not a big youtuber so he probably doesn't even bother looking at mine but i put it on his youtube which doesn't it's a bit different you know you that you actually see more comments his, his youtube channels it's it's got sixty-seven thousand from that and not many comments so he might see that more um but i will let you I will keep you updated with that but for calling Greg that I think there should be a public apology some people do not like criticism some people take criticism bad some people take it good and improve themselves some people want to prove somebody after they've been criticized and say look at me now and you just need to see and think what the criticism is actually aimed at is it to be nasty or is it to be like helpful in a way to you greg does come across a very harsh person but he's only doing this for the majority of people like me like probably you who are watching um natural or not natural people who are looking at these people and thinking wow i want a body like that 
So I have to do what he does to basically get the size of him. But they're not telling the truth, you know. And Greg, being Greg, is he tells you everything what he does. He tells you, you know, he's not natural. He's going off TRT and, you know, he, he what he cooks, you know, what you shouldn't eat, what you should do, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, more people should be like him. Yes, he can be annoying, but also he is very, very, very helpful and would help anybody in need. He doesn't just do these hate videos to hate people. He's doing them to call them out because they're misleading people and that's the whole point of his videos. He's not doing it because he wants more views. Yes, he's gonna get views. He could get views now, probably sitting on the toilet and just doing nothing. And um, he could get a video of him just riding a bike and he would get a lot of views now because he is a big YouTuber. But he doesn't do these videos just because of views because Frankly, if you know every person he does a video on, then you really need to get out because half the people that he does videos about, I haven't got a clue who they are. I mean, I really haven't got a clue who they are. And obviously, I'm from the UK, so they're not well known over here. But you just got to think that things like this in these you know in the racism and you know people hurt for black life matter and you know it's wrong and it needs to be stopped on all scales both ways you know it's not just about blacks it's about asians you know chinese you know every culture even white people just because we're white it doesn't mean we don't get hit with racism as well you know you know what you look like you know how you are you know if you're thin you get bullied if you're fat you get bullied you know if you're not big enough you you know you get bullied people at the gym which what i always said which intimidated me when i was younger the big big gym people look down on you and laugh at you because you're skinny and got no muscle and you're thinking it's all bullying so people just need to think about what they're actually saying and doing and would they like it if it happened to them you know this is pointless you know what he said was trying to help obviously chef rush and he obviously is admiring him by his physique you know and a lot of people would go wow how do you get like that come on how do you get like that you know we would want to know you know and it would be so so you know beneficial for a lot of people you know to know how you got like that you know and that's all you're trying to do so i'm going to finish this and i'm going to wrap this up because i think this subject needs to be put to bed now i think greg i don't think you should do any more videos about him he's not worth it he is definitely not worth it after i've seen obviously him hating on other people as well very immature and you know for a grown man to say that about other people you know is who was in in the white house cooking for people is very 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 poor you know but each to their own and you know if he wants to lead a lie and wants to have three hours sleep then let him have three hours sleep. Maybe that's why he's retaliating. He's angry because he's not getting enough sleep. He wants sleep, but because but, but, he eats so much and all that protein probably blocking his memory and he's probably, bro he's probably blocking his brain. So it needs to like get off the protein, get off the amount of roids you are on because it's making you not the person you are anyway thank you for watching goodbye